Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to hey. Let's Play. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's we let's say the word, Ryder. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What do we have here? Strike mission, which this I. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. Yeah, okay, we are gonna find out what strike missions I can think what they are. Channels already, Pathfinder. But that is something for some time else, right? Okay, ain't nothing on the bridge, right? There was one display we can use. Hello again, Ryder. Taking an interest in my strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck. Kendra's out. Okay. First strike. Um, we will... I do not know. There's so much to, to do here. <laughs> hey. Let's... Yeah. Online cannot be accessed until you connect. Online please return to the main menu. Okay. Then, that is nothing for now. Then we are going to do that later on. I hope I won't forget. I, I think that's going to come up right dominantly at one point, actually. To get some resources, for example, for upgrading stuff. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Uh, keep... keep uh, we had the Nexus... Uh, we got... No, wait. Okay, keep dreaming of a home. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. So, first of all, we are gonna come back to the Nexus at one point for anything I have overseen here. So. Let's see how that is going to work out. Verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. All right, that's the galaxy. That is what I do remember Three from. Years, then. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. Now, what do we have at Fiverr? 
Shall we do... We have a quick stop here first, right? This is about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before... Well... Let's see what's waiting here. Mm-hmm. Anomaly on sensors. Okay, an anomaly has been it has been detected. While holding to scan for anomalous location, then press to Ah okay, there is Deploying probe. Deploying probe. Alright, analysis, thanks to Kovac's thin atmosphere, it's particularly cold deserts can reach extremely high temperatures in direct sunlight. Limit exploration to twilight hours only. I do not know what the red signs there tell us. And if what I'm doing here currently is actually just a bloody waste of time. Anomaly on sensors. Okay, now we go to the next but I do not know at one at which point this is gonna get boring or at which point we I'm gonna skip this because you have seen it um, with different planets too too often might happen thick dust clouds dangerous electrical storms and uh, heavy gravity render h48 4800 in hospital even for well-equipped Krogan explorers Okay, we've seen the anomaly higher. Let's just quickly pan through this system, do that, and I don't know if this has going to be any relevance later on if we have mapped them systems completely or scouted them completely. I do not yet know. We'll find out. Through the plane is highly toxic to most known life forms. Raya's helium rich atmosphere appears to host enormous colonies of fungal spores. Alright, will do. Detected. Yeah, up there, right? I still... That, as I said, probably gonna change in the future when we have done this 20 times. Oh, that looks nice. The gro t uh, gravita gr gravity distortion by the wormhole. Not wormhole, um, by the... Black hole, that's what I wanted to say. Extreme radioactive and high velocity winds make H-47-9 a poor candidate for mining, despite its rich metal deposits, a potential candidate for future endeavors. Yeah, we'll do. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Before we go to the black hole, right? And see what the game has prepared for us there. Did 
This outlying world is comprised of iron and frozen nitrogen. One oddity stands out. Certain geological features suggest the nitrogen seas were once liquid. Yeah, that's odd, right? And then let's... Thank you. Oh, wait a second. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. That's where the probes are used. Okay, now we now I understand the anomalies, probes, anomalies make sense. Now we have an asteroid with minerals, so let's mine them before we, for the last thing, then gonna go to the black hole. Except obviously something's gonna come in between, which might happen, I do not think so, but there's always, there's always a possibility, right? The unusual mineral composition of this asteroid suggests they, it may have origins outside the fiber system and became caught in the sun's gravity. Right, nice, aluminum. And then let's then go there. I understand now the system feature thingy. I mean, yeah, it's not complicated, I know, I know. But, now at least I know what to do here. In the future. And see the scouting then in the end, if you take it for crafting materials, it is not bad to do. Even at this distance, a black hole, by the way, a care black hole, H012 Kitos, presents a risk to onboard ship system. The accreditation disk around it is composed of remains of at least one solar system destroyed by the black hole deformation and gravitational pull. Caution is advised. We are caught. We, yeah, we are. We are gonna be careful. Okay, there's. We just. I am, you know, that's just me sometimes. Let's go there and in the other system before we actually go to the other, to the system we need to fly in order to do the main mission. First things first, right? Scouting sometimes is quite important, I think. So this is where the human arc first entered Helios? Heck of a wake-up call. Anomaly on sensors. Probe. I found something. Okay, Starship Shuttle wreckage. Spotted. Drifting. It sustained catastrophic electrical damage. That's the research vessel Dr. Aridana informed us of. There are no life readings within. She'll want to know. Ah, cool. The Exodus sustained um, pervasive damage due to scourge layers that wiped out all internal systems. Dr. Adriana's crew was killed instantly. Vessels adrift unsalvageable due to radiation. All right. So, see, we completed a task. I do not... Well, I, that's good, right? Before we then, in the next, we do... For this episode, the last three planets here. Or we go as far as we can, time-wise. And then, we in the next episode, I'm quite certain we can go to the system we need to go. I'm picking up something. Now, first of all, even visual scans show that Habitat 7 is no longer a promising settlement world. The planet's atmosphere is largely argon, nitrogen, and little of the projected plan life has survived. Probes launched. Satellite detected. Ascenda's monitoring satellite, its regulation shows it was deployed accidentally from the Hyperion during its collision with the Scourge. Nice. Research data. So that is what is the good part about scouting not only because the model of the of the series task quest but to receive research data for example but guys that is then right now gonna bring us to the end of today's episode we will go on here in scouting this system in the next episode and then we are gonna go to the next si or the other system in order to go on with the main Anomaly. quest 
right and we have another anomaly for now you know it high as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have a job today's episode today's episode then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then i wish you all a wonderful day say frosty bye